Hi YouTubers, resellers, and thrifters. My name is Carrie. My channel, as well as my eBay store, my Poshmark closet, my Depop store, my Etsy shop, and my Facebook Marketplace and Mercari are all named Be Carried Away. So welcome to the video. This is a what's sold for the beginning of late spring and early summer. So I have some tips on how to keep those sales up during what's known as summer slowdown, if you find that. So stay tuned. That's step one. And we're actually really close to the thrift store. So we're walking over there now. So I'm going to go through my sales on eBay, although I do sell on all of the other platforms that I just listed. Um, eBay is my um, best selling platform, and I think that's probably I've been on it the longest. I also have a real variety of items, and I like to pick up kind of the unique and unusual. Um, and I really try to go for a higher dollar uh, price point, simply because I don't always have a lot of time to ship. So eBay seems to work best for me and I probably put the most time into it and that's where most of my sales are. So here are my eBay sales from about May 19th onward through um, June 2022. So the first is this mini boom box and this is from Pierre Cardin. This is vintage. I think this was something that was sold in a department store back in the day, but it's dead stock. It was um, meaning that it's old vintage, but it was never used. So it's still in its original box. I sold that for $21.99 plus shipping. Buyer was all in for $33.21. So older electronics, vintage items are something you may or may not want to pick up depending on um, your expertise with them and also if you want to um, try them out and make sure they're working. This was easy enough to plug in. It was a radio cassette and it was working. Next is some uh, more Lily Pulitzer. This was another item from a cache that I had found, about 12 items all at once. Super excited about that. This was the Eliana pullover top in Bermuda full and this sold for $60 and buyer was all in for $63.99. I guess I had free shipping on that. Very, very rare for me, but a lot of the um, Lily Pulitzer tops like this did have free shipping. So sometimes if it's an item where a lot of sellers are doing free shipping, I'll follow suit and you know not be the odd one out with um, shipping, so. Lily Pulitzer always sells well for me. Next, an area, this is where I started as a bookseller 20 plus years ago. I have really gotten away from books, but I want to start getting back into it. And here's a really fun sale. This is um, an old vintage book from the 1940s called Christian Girls Problems, Manners, Morals, and Etiquette. These etiquette style books used to sell very, very well. Um, this one sold for $24.99 and I picked this up for just 50 cents at a garage sale. Um, next is this Lucite vanity dresser tray, perfume, mirror tray, words, all keywords that I put in there. I also put in the words Hollywood Regency, which define a very um, vintage yet um, very ornate style type of design. I'll put up some pictures here of Hollywood Regency, usually gold style um, items and things like that. But this tray, this vanity tray does fit in there. And so I use those terms. I also This sold for $30. Buyer was all in for $43.98 and that I picked up for just $2.99 at my Salvation Army. Next, I'm trying to get into plush. I picked up this little brownie baker horse. This was new with the tags and these little brownie baker items are things that Girl Scouts, I think they earn them. I'm not sure on that. You can correct me, but I think they earn them for their cookie sales maybe. Um, and there were lots of these listed. I don't know if I would pick it up again, but I did well with it. Uh, I paid 99 cents to Salvation Army and I sold it for $19.98 and the buyer was all in for $26.26. Next, a really nice sale. This was a coach bag. This was an authentic coach bag in this really pretty cobalt blue leather. I actually used it once before I sold it. So the, um, you know, uh, perks of being a reseller. You can use your items once in a while. And um, this was a hobo slouch shoulder bag and it had silver uh, tone. So it was blue and silver. I sold this for $64.99. I picked it up for $9.99. Buyer was all in for $73.48. So that's a nice, uh, a nice profit on a very quick sale. Next, this Elsa Williams grape leaves linen cruel embroidery kit. Embroidery kits are always worth a look up. They don't all sell 
great, but uh, this particular designer, Elsa Williams, some of hers go in the upwards of $100 and more. This um, pattern was the grape leaves pattern and it was a little more common. So I sold it for $38, picked it up for $1.99. Buyer was all in for $46.90. Next, this really cool uh, paperweight in a very modernist look, had a very modernist look to it. It was from 1939, the New York World's Fair. And so this was a tourist item from the World's Fair. I looked up what was on it. It has this really unique, like kind of triangle and ball. And I wasn't really sure what that was. So using Google images, I was able to find photographs of what they actually were. And it was called the Trilon and the Parasphere. And these were, um, built specifically for the New York World's Fair. So I was able to put that information that I had looked up into the listing to try to help sell it. I think the more that you have in there, the more research you do. I enjoy doing the research on it. I know not everybody does, but um, I think it does help sell items. And so that might be something, you know, if you're having a summer slowdown and you have particular items, rather than just, you know, one or two lines, sometimes you do want to put a little bit more in the description, a little bit more effort, not a lot necessarily because you you need to balance out you know the time that you're putting into it time is money but um, that is a tip for better summer sales when you have a slowdown would be to do a little bit more research and put that research into the listing so the trial on Parisphere um, paperweight in this modernist style sold for $44.99 and the buyer was all in for $55.54 next this really pretty new with tags uh, Norton spring lime dress Basic sale, linen. Linen always sells well in the summer, so um, if you're just going through the racks by feel, you can almost always feel linen or a linen blend. This sold for $24.99, and the buyer was all in for $33.28. Next, a pair of standard pillowcases from Martex. Martex is a good brand. Um, these were picked up at the Salvation Army. They were $2. They were marked $3.99, and I got them on a half-price sale. And I sold these for $18 and buyer was all in for $25.12. Next, a Land's End bathing suit. This took a really long time to sell and I probably would not pick up Land's End again unless it was a really great um, design, which I thought this was. It's really pretty. It's a two-piece uh, swim skirt. It was a size eight in this tankini style, so I think larger sizes do better for Land's End. But I sold it for $35, and the buyer was all in for $46.28. I picked that up for $3.99. Next, an Eddie Bauer new with tags, embroidered, very lightweight uh, tank, T-top in Baltic blue. Don't pick up a lot of Eddie Bauer, but this was new with tags, and I only paid 99 cents for it, so that's something that I will quickly list, easy to list, easy to ship, and I sold that for $21.99, buyer was all in for $28.09. Next, a blue jean jumper dress. These have been selling very well for me. So if I do see these at a reasonable price, I will pick them up. Sometimes they're marked up at my Salvation Army, but um, they're popular and um, with a wide variety of um, types of buyers, I believe. Some buy them because they can be modest. Some buy them because they're trendy. Others buy them because they're very comfortable. This one was a plus size 2X in cotton. So it's an overall uh, with a pinafore front dress. Um, the brand was nothing of note. It was called PTNY, but it was new with tags. So I got $38.99 for that. And I picked that up for just $4. It was marked $7.99 and I got it for a half price. Buyer was all in for $50.03 on that dress. Next, I picked this up for just 50 cents. This is a great sale. This was a garage sale pickup. I don't go to a lot of garage sales, but man, when you hit a good one, they're great, aren't they? Just so much fun. 50 cents, this 1972 Gorham, Gorham Sterling Silver Christmas Snowflake. These were very collectible. People love to have all of the different years. So um, it came in its original bag, which kept the silver really nice. So it was in really great condition. Sold it for $59.99 and the buyer was all in for $67.61. And I paid 50 cents. Great sale, fun. Next, a pair of pants that I have had listed forever, but they were new with tags and I made a mistake on the listing. Um, they were not Ann Klein, they were Ann Taylor and Ann Taylor sells better than Ann Klein, so I probably would have sold them quicker and for more money. 
but the mistake was mine and um, the buyer picked them up for $13.59. So the reason there's an odd number there is another thing that I'll do sometimes in the summer, if there's a bit of a summer slowdown, if I feel like my sales are not quite as um, steady, is to run a sale. So I did run a 20% off sale and then a 22% off, 22 for 2022 summer sale. So that really worked. Um, it, it increased my sales. I had a lot of smaller sales because of the price clearly, but I did clear out some inventory. So that was great. So these wool blend pants, you know, at a great price of $13.59, somebody's gonna pick them up even in the middle of, or about to go into summer. Next were a pair of Allbirds. These were the charcoal wool gray runners. Now I have heard people say that, uh, and actually on Courtney, Courtney's Bolo Buddies Facebook group, if you're part of that over there, I'm one of the moderators on that group. And there was some discussion over there about Allbirds being on the Vero list, um, meaning that you cannot sell them on eBay or you will get your listing taken down. And that really isn't true. They did uh, fix that. And so you can sell Allbirds now on um, eBay. So these were just a real quick sale. They weren't in the best condition and they weren't one of the really great colors. So I picked them up for just a dollar at a garage sale and I sold them for $23.99 and buyer was all in for $33.05. Next, a great lava glaze bowl chip and dip set from, I thought it was uh, Treasure Craft, but somebody did text me and tell me that this was not Treasure Craft, but one of the other companies, and I should have written it down for the video, and I can't remember what it was, but I did sell that for $30. Buyer was all in for $52.14. I picked that up for just $3.99 at the Salvation Army. Next, I have um, a sale that um, was, oh, person canceled that sale. Okay, let me go on to the next one. Okay, next was a sealed puzzle. This was a Springbok puzzle. Springbok was made by Hallmark and it's one of the more popular uh, puzzle companies. This was uh, Native American Indians, um, the Hudson Bay Company, that was the design. And I did put in the, the um, artist as well. I just sold it for $20 and the buyer was all in for $36.20. Puzzles are not selling as well as they were um, during the pandemic, but they still do sell just probably at a lower price point, really. Next, a pair of True Religion jean, uh, jean shorts. These sold, uh, sat for a while because I had them listed too high, I believe. And as soon as I had that 22% off sale, they sold right away. So um, these were the Joey jean shorts and they sold for $23.19. Buyer was all in for $31.18. Next, a Alfred Angelo new with tags, bought at the Salvation Army. I paid $6.99 for this. This was a uh, women's bridesmaids dress from An Alfred Angelo, party or a party dress in Mediterranean blue. I sold that for $55.19 and buyer was all in for $68 even. So party dresses, uh, work clothes, fancier things are starting to sell again. They hadn't been selling much during the pandemic, but people are starting to go out again. Parties, weddings are taking place. And so those kinds of items I am starting to list once again. Next, an item that was something I picked up for free. This was in my free uh, frog pickup, and that is in one of my videos where I talk about different items that I got for free. This woman gave me this whole bag of frog-related items. This was a stuffed frog. It was very large, 34, in 34 inches. Uh, this was a self, sh self shelf sitter. Say that five times fast. And um, this was adjust adjuster so the frog was adjuster so a frog prince really and i sold it for 26 dollars 39 so for free i'll take that all day long the buyer was in for 38 dollars 47 cents next this really beautiful vintage nightgown now this was a nightgown or lace slip but a lot of times um Women will wear these as a slip dress, you know, maybe with a jean jacket over it, with some funky boots below. And so that is something that I thought about when I found this, I thought this would make a great slip dress. So I did put the word dress in the listing, which helps uh, others find it who maybe aren't looking for just a nightgown. So it does help to know how the item might be worn and then use that to market or sell the item. So this I picked up for just $1.99. It sold for $34.50 and the buyer was all in for 
Next was a plush mistake. So my trying to get into plush, I picked this up for $1.99 and I only sold it for $9 during my sale. And I had free shipping on it and it went to Hawaii. So I only got $9.76. I basically just broke even on this little Aurora pink plush tubby bubby, but that's okay. Hey, I broke even and I'm good with that. Next, fresh produce. I love selling fresh produce. I love when I find it. This stuff sells really fast. It has a, um, a following. So people who wear it know that they love it and they do search for it. So if you see fresh produce, it's usually worth picking up. This one was a size large and it was just a plain, you know, a cotton shirt with a very pretty print. Um, I paid $1.99 for this and I sold it for $21.59 during my sale. And the buyer was all in for, why don't I have the all in price there? I'm not sure. I don't have the all in price, but they did pay shipping for that. Next is this really cute Vera Bradley blue bayou pattern pen. So some of the unique items from Vera Bradley will sell. Um, I didn't get as much for this as maybe that I thought I might, but I did get $15.99 for it. I picked it up for just $1 at the Salvation Army. It was 99 cents. Buyer was all in for $20.13. Next, I love to pick up dollhouses. And this was a dollhouse that I picked up at an estate sale. And I believe I paid $25 for this. It was mixed in with a bunch of other items and so, you know, a pile. So I'm guesstimating it was around 25, but it sold for 125. So 124.99 plus shipping the buyer was all in for 164.14 and was very happy with it. And that cool doll house, she's gonna turn it into a haunted house for her granddaughter. So it looked like a really fun project. Next, a Sirocco wall art piece. This was from 1966. So Sirocco is that fake wood. Um, and if you turn it over on the back, you can usually see the stamp Sirocco. Another company that made this type of wood was called Burwood. And usually the date will be on the back. So this was black and gold flowers, daisy, mid-century modern wall hanging. And it sold for $28. Buyer was all in for $40.61 and I paid $2.99 for that at the Salvation Army. Next, um, this is an interesting piece because I've been trying to look at cut glass a little bit. It's very popular, it's making a comeback. So the prices for cut glass, crystal, and things like that have been going up. Now, I don't know a lot about it, but I've been trying. I've sold a couple of pieces and pretty decent um, profit margin on them. So this was just um, by Mosier, and I was able to find that out by using um, Google Lens. It actually picked up the pattern and the shape of this just very simple, what looked to me pretty basic, 8-inch bud glass. But it did pick up the pattern, and so this was by Mosier Cut Glass Diamond Pattern with a Sawtooth Rim. I have EAPG in the title, which is Early American Pressed Glass, so I don't know if that's really accurate if this was pressed glass. This is cut, cut glass. Um, if anybody knows the difference, please let me know in the comments, but I'm gonna be researching that because I do wanna pick up, there's a lot of it out there. So if you know what to look for, this is a great category to be selling these days. But it sold for just $21.59 and the buyer was all in for $30.88. Next, this new with tags, dead stock pink blouse. This had what's called a pussy bow, the tie bow that's attached. Um, Mercari wouldn't let me list it because they said the term was vulgar so you know uh pussy cat i guess but um dead stock 80s pink silky ne necktie in a size 10 sold for 25 dollars. now the buyer was all in for 55 20 and that's because this did go to france so those french women are very hip with their vintage items next this handmade blue robe in a batik so batik is a very particular type of fabric and um, this was from the brand Meng Designs. It was a kimono in a plus size. It was kind of a 1X, 2X. I measured it to find out the size because it really just said uh, one size on it, but it was quite large. And this sold overnight for $39.19. I had paid $4.99 for this at the Salvation Army and the buyer was in for $50.45. Next, a really cool sale, also $39.19. So again, this was in my 22% off sale. So I did have it up a little bit higher than that. Weifang, W-E-I-F-A-N-G, uh, from China, a miniature paper kite collection. These were intricately painted little uh, kite samples, so pretty. 
these were in a box. So I always say, you know, if you're looking on the shelves at a thrift store or anywhere, open those boxes. And when I opened this, I found these beautiful little kites in this little presentation box. Buyer was all in for $49.44. I did look up Weifang. So again, this idea of making sure you're doing your research. I didn't just type it in because it was on the box. I also looked it up and found out it was one, it is one of the most um, well-known um, kite makers from a, t the, a town of the same name in China. Next, a new tags torrid floral hoodie with cranes on it. It was embroidered, full zip. I paid up for this. I paid $12.99 for this, and I only sold it for $30 during my sale. So not the best sale on a torrid item. I thought I would have gotten more for that, but the buyer was all in for $40.61, and I did make a profit. Next is this L.L. Bean fitted uh, fitness dress. This sold also just about overnight, maybe a day or two. This was new with, ta new with tags. Now, um, I did look this up because it was new with tags. I was able to just take a Google uh, picture, photo of it. And this is one really good technique for making sure you're getting what you should for your items, not just how to price them, but what I did was I looked this up and then I realized that it was a current model. It had just recently been um, for sale on the LL Bean website. And guess what? They were all sold out. So I started to look around to see if I could find this dress in other places and I could not. So I priced this at actually the MSRP price, which is not what you normally, you know, when you're reselling, you normally are knocking the price down because people are on these sites looking for deals. In this case, the woman wasn't looking for a deal necessarily. She was just looking for the item because everywhere else it was sold out. So knowing what you have is really important and doing that research, um, helped me. I probably might have listed this for $30 or $35, but instead I was able to list it for the full $47.99 that uh, L.L. Bean originally sold it for. And the buyer was all in for $60.52. Can you hear the train? I'm so close to New York City that I have the train going by. I love it. Okay, next, um, Under Armour Notre Dame Fighting Irish Racerback Tee, $13.99. Sold it for $18.99. Picked it up for a buck. Simple sale. Next, um, and the reason I picked that up, I don't pick up things like that, but I picked that up because I had lots of things. It was Notre Dame, it was Under Armour, it was the Racerback, um, it was the Fighting Irish uh, logo. So it had a lot going for it, not just one thing. Next, this really pretty um, vintage smocked nightgown or house dress. I saw quite a few of these. People like to wear these for, you know, something to have on around the house, something light, something cool. This was in a plus size 3X and it was pink. I sold this for $45.99. It was vintage and the buyer was all in for $81.59. And that's because that went to England. Next was a Tommy Bahama um, t-shirt. This was in brand new condition, never been worn, never been, um, washed. Tommy Bahamas, one of those hit or miss. You, know, you don't pick up everything. It was just $1.99 and I sold it for $20 overnight, even though it had a Christmas theme. It was a Christmas t-shirt, holidays and doggy, dog howl, uh, but it was an XXL. It was a graphic t-shirt with a bulldog on it. Buyer was all in for $25.50. Next, absolutely beautiful piece, something I was very, very tempted to keep if it had been more in line with my decor style here. Um, this was a Mission Oak frame, and that's the type of oak with the kind of stripes in it, very beautiful um, oak frame with a handmade cruel embroidery of a botanical tree, and this was a Jacobean style, so this botanical um, tree of life art. I sold this for $109.99 and I paid just $3.99 for this. For some reason, and I, I say this multiple times when I sell um, a piece of artwork very high, that my Honey Hole Salvation Army, they want to get their uh, frames and their artwork out quickly. They don't want it piling up and so they price it very, very low. So it's almost always $3.99, 3 to $5.99. So $3.99 into $109.99, buyer was all in for $145.49. Um, the shipping was heavy on that because that Mission Oak frame was um, you know, pretty weighty, but beautiful, beautiful piece and a really nice profit for me. Next, this Mexican boho embroidered tunic dress in navy blue, plus size floral, 
peasant dress. There were lots of these listed. When I Google uh, imaged this, there were lots of them out there, kind of new. This is not a, an older item. They're made and sold uh, all over the internet. So I really had to kind of price mine a little bit lower than what I saw out there. Um, again, it's about knowing what's out there and what the market is for your particular item. That extra few minutes of um, research allowed me not to get a higher price in this case, but to actually sell it very quickly as compared to all of the other ones out there. So the other ones are running from 45 to 49.99. So I priced mine lower. I sold it for 32.99, which is fine with me because I paid just 2.99 at the Salvation Army. Buyer was all in for 43.28. Next, an amazing sale, another dollhouse. This dollhouse I picked up on Facebook Marketplace for $45. I drove over to the woman's home, put it in the back of my car, took a few photos. It sold overnight. So this went into my 20% off sale. I had it listed at $4.99. I probably should have got $4.99 for it but I paid just 45 and I'm certainly gonna honor that sale. She's very excited to get it. So she paid 399.20 and the, she was all in for $530.03. Beautiful, one of a kind handmade uh, colonial dollhouse. Definitely should have priced that higher. Uh, you know, you live and you learn, but uh, hey, I'll take the extra 400 bucks or 350 profit any, any day. I didn't even have to take it inside the house. Uh, next, a pair of Clark's Slide Sandals, just your basic sale. Picked them up for $4.99, sold them for $21.99, $33.67. I like to pick up Clark's because they sell well, if they're in very good condition. Next, a baby crib comforter blanket with these farm animals on it. So cute. Not a fantastic sale, but I picked it up for $3.99, sold it for $20.99. Buyer was all in for $34. Next, a really cool little vintage vanity lipstick holder. Picked it up for $2.99, the Salvation Army. This was made of plastic, uh, meant to look like wood, and it had a little kind of plastic holder at the bottom for the lipsticks to go in. This I sold for $30, buyer was all in for $41.72. Next, vintage Victoria's Secret gold label emerald green satin sleep shirt. Um, people generally say that the gold label, which is the more vintage label, sells better or higher. I haven't really necessarily seen that with all items. It depends on the items, I guess. Um, I only sold this for $15. I wanted to get it out. Um, I'd had it for a while. Unique color, um, not in perfect condition. So $15 sale, uh, I sold it for $22.43. And I think I picked it up for $2.99 or $3.99. So not a great sale. And you know, I was kind of mesmerized by the, the gold label thing and um, probably would not have picked that up again. Next, a nightgown, sold for just $12, a vintage nightgown, um, lace, blue roses, kind of your vintage, typical vintage nighty nightgown. Picked that up for 99 cents and sold it for $12 on my sale price. Uh, 1761 buyer was all in. Next, a New York Shirelles, which was the name of the company, uh, wool cloche hat. So I'm selling more of these cloche style hats. And this sold for $20 and the buyer was all in for $27.63 and hats at my store were 99 cents. Next, this is a unique sale. This is my two United Airlines club lounge uh, passes. So I have a United Airlines credit card. I am such a miles hound because I love to fly, but I don't use the airline lounge, uh, mostly because uh, Mike being a veteran, a lot of the airports will have veterans lounges. We can go into those for free. So why not sell the um, passes? These are one-time passes. They come with your um, United Airlines credit card once, once a year as a kind of a, um, just a little extra. And so I sold those for $85.99. No shipping because I, all I had to do was um, email the buyer the code for those. Um, okay, next, the 1980s turquoise fish dress. I love this. This is a Hawaiian mumu. I've had this for a while, a beach dress, caftan in a size XL with this really cool fish embroidery on it. Um, I think I had that price a little too high and it took a while to sell, but here it is. Uh, selling on June 17th, which is about what you would expect, and it sold for $39.99. The buyer was all in for $50.82. 
Next, two pairs of Acorn women's slippers. Acorn is a great brand. If you find them either new or in really good condition, Acorn makes slippers and people love them. There is also a bit of a following with Acorn I've found. I mean, the ones that I've purchased and sold, they sell generally pretty fast and for a decent price. So I purchased these for $3.99 each. They were brand new. They still had the stick in them and the padding and all of that. Um, at the Salvation Army, both pairs, they were both the same size and a woman bundled them together on eBay and I sold them both together for $55.98. Buyer was all in for $67. 14 although I think I refunded her a little bit of the shipping because I did uh, do um, uh, one package next a great sale this was a new with tags Brook Brothers Madras plaid jacket blazer I thought this was vintage when I first picked it up but after further research I found out that it's actually not and it's being currently sold um, the original price on it was $198. It was new with tags. I had an offer for $175 a couple of months ago and I turned it down because I thought it was vintage and I wanted to get a little more. And upon further research, it wasn't. So then I got a second offer for $150 and I just, I just took it. And so I lost a $25 um, profit on that particular item just because I probably should have researched it a little bit more when I got it. But I'm still really happy with it because I paid $5.99 for that jacket at the Salvation Army and I sold it for $150. Next, a Busilla counted cross stitch kit. Busilla is one of those names. If you see a cross stitch from Busilla, comp it. Um, this one wasn't anything particularly great. It was, um, I paid 99 cents for it at my Salvation Army and I only sold it for $15.19. Um, I'm gonna end there because my dog needs to go outside and also the video is getting a little bit long. So um, we'll go on with my next What Sold video um, in a week or so. I hope all of you have a wonderful 4th of July holiday. And um, so the two tips that I would like to just uh, wrap up with are, you know, try doing a sale. If you are having slow sales, make sure you're putting a little bit more into your research process um, to make sure that those items are selling and selling for what you should get for those. Um, keep listing every single day. I find that, um, you know, you got to feed the monster with that. And as well, ship as often as you can. Um, I do find that the shipping really helps the algorithm. I notice that when I do a big shipping day, the next day I will have lots of sales. That's just my personal intuition and experience. But I do think that getting those shipping items out as quick as you can does help keep the algorithm um, on in your favor. So those are just some tips. I'll add some more next week. I hope your summer sales are going well and happy 4th of July, everybody. Bye.